hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the part number three for the solution on the statistical physics uh, for the semester five on cc 12 we already discussed uh, in two part for question number one and question number two to four discuss into into two part which are asked in year 2021 of university of calcutta in physics honors so i think you already was the previous two one and this is the third part you can watch the total question paper you can see that is question number one which is discussed in part one and then two three and four discuss in part two and in this part we will discuss question number five six and seven I would like to request all of you to solve this question first in your in your try. After that, you continue the video to watch this solution. Okay. First question, question number five, which says, for a classical ideal gas, derive the equation of state separately using canonical partition function and grand canonical partition function. That's mean for a classical ideal gas, you need to find out the equation of state by canonical partition function and the grand canonical partition function by these two method you know there are three uh, partition function method that is the micro canonical canonical and grand canonical micro canonical means isolated canonical means closed system and grand canonical means open system so there are three uh, methods you can find out any thermodynamics variable here you need to find out the uh, equation of state using canonical partition function and grand canonical partition function okay i think you clear about the question now look at the solution if you consider an ideal gas with consisting n particle which are monoatomic non relativistic distinguishable and contain a value of v okay we take this one we take this are distinguishable particle so that's why the partition function for a single particle will be 1 by hq exponential minus beta epsilon dq q and dq t Q is the uh, position that is generalized coordinate system coordinate and P is the generalized momentum. Okay, put this value of energy which is P square by 2m because there is no interaction, so there is no potential energy, only kinetic energy that is P square by 2m. Okay, and dqp as uh, dq d3q which is volume real volume and d3p is 4 pi P square dp. Okay, the small volume in momentum space. So if you integrating this thing, you will be given this one function. I think you can do this integration very well. If you, any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. After that, you will obtain this V1. And this is the V thermal, that is the de Broglie wavelength. Uh, just know about this one. So this is for a single particle. For n particle, this will become Z1 whole to the power n. Put this value whole to the power n. So the Helmholtz free energy, F equal to minus kT ln Zn. Put this value, you will be obtain this one. After getting this value of Helmholtz free energy, you will be get the expression of pressure. That is minus del F del B at constant N and T. Just derivative, partial derivative, you will get this equation. This is the equation of state of ideal gas using canonical ensemble, using canonical partition function. Now, if you want to find out this expression in terms of grand canonical partition function, you know grand canonical partition function and canonical partition function are related with like that. Because in grand canonical partition function, the number of particle can be exchanged from the system to surroundings. So that's why there is incorporation of the number of particles into account. So the for uh, uh, canonical ensemble, this is you know the Z value. So the value of Q that is the grand canonical partition function will be like one put just with the value of Z. After expanding this thing, you will be get this equation and this is nothing but one by X whole to the power minus one. That is one by one by X. 1 by 1 minus x clear so this is the value of q after getting this uh, value of q you will be get this value of n that is the number of particle in this system because here the number of particle is not constant so that's why you can find out the number of particle of the system using this partition function this is the formula to get the number of particle in the system that is 1 by beta del del u ln q so that's beta equals to 1 by kt so this becomes kt and this ln q put this value of q this is the value of q right so put this value of q you will be obtained these things and we are taking this derivative with respect to mu you will be obtained this one 
Now the grand potential that is written as minus 1 by ln q. So this is the grand potential and the corresponding pressure will be minus density. So you will be get this expression of pressure and this is the n. If you just divided these two things, you will be get kt by v. So you will be obtain the same equation of state. So you can find out the equation of state of classical gas using canonical ensemble and using can canonical impression, the result will be result will be the same in the two process. Okay. And you know the there is a series for uh, video lecture on statistical mechanics. You can go through the description box. Link are given there. Go to the next question, which says consider a photon gas. Consider a photon gas confined in a volume V at temperature T so that the number of photons in volume is proportional to TQ. That means there is a volume V with temperature T. You need to find out the number of photon which is in this volume proportional to TQ. Okay. You know from the uh, Planck's radiation theory that is the energy uh, interval. Uh, I think there is a D new here. I will turn you. Just D new. Okay. So the uh, frequency range where the frequency new to new plus D new, the number or density of this radiation will be like that. This is the Planck's loss of radiation. Now the number of particle uh, can be written as is like that. This is the number of particle with frequency range nu to nu plus d nu. That is, uh, this is the energy density divided by uh, energy will be get the number of particle. So this is the delta nu you know, and total number of radiation will be like that. The uh, integration with the total volume. So this integration gives you uh, these things. So you will take this h nu by kt as a x substituting and you will be get this integration and this is the standard value of this integration will be pi to the 4 by 15 you can obtain this one in the series summation so finally you will be get this n is proportional to n q clear i think clear about this thing just taking this uh, formula and taking this number of particle then total integration and you will be obtain this expression next question which says a photon gas is confined in a volume v a photon gas which is confined in a volume V at temperature T. If the volume increased adiabatically to 2V, so the B volume change into 2V, what will be the temperature? You know in adiabatic process dQ equals to 0. From the first law of thermodynamics, dQ equal to dU plus dW. So dU plus dW equals to 0 because dQ equal to 0. In photon gas, you know this U equal to V to the power 2 and P equals to P one third U bar that is u by v put this value of u you will be get p value of p so you just put this value of u and p here you will be getting this one and integrating you will be get this one so if you using this relation p t to the power q equals to constant uh, at initial this volume is v and temperature t and final volume to v what will be the temperature just using this relation you will be get this is the volume final temperature will be like that okay so you just calculate this one very easy if there is any doubt you must comment in the comment box next question <coughs> next question says derive Wien's displacement law from Planck's law Planck's, uh, Planck's law so uh, Planck radiation law says that at maximum this uh, you can see at the uh, wavelength at maximum wavelength for from where the distribution is maximum the derivative at uh, 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 at this position will be zero with respect to lambda. So if you just derivative this equation with respect to lambda, you will be get these things. So just taking this derivative of this equation at lambda to the power five once and then it to the lambda. So taking the derivative and put this at lambda equals to lambda m, you will be get this equation. And here the assumption is like that. So this is uh, can be taken as one because if you take this t is uh, this is large that means t is low at low temperature this can be happen no problem so this is the one's displacement law which is derived from the planks next question says case the fermi dirac distribution function as a derivative at t equal to 0 kelvin and t greater than 0 kelvin you know at t equal to 0 kelvin this fermi dirac is one of the step function with increasing this is deviated like that okay and this is the fermi energy Next thing to explain physically how the electronic specific heat of metal behaves a function of temperature. Actually, the specific heat of a metal has a two components. One is for phonon and another one is for electron. Phonons means the vibration of the lattice point. 
okay for that this specific is like that and which is proportional to tq and the for electron this is proportional to t actually electrons are the uh, the thermal electron actually number of thermal electron will be increased with temperature because if you increase the temperature the uh, electron can be uh, will be excited in the upper state which can be thermally uh, conducting for specific heat uh, the thermal conduction actually they are activated for thermal conduction so that's why the in um, electron specific heat of electron will be increased with the proportional of t next question Deduce the pressure volume relation for a free electron gas owing Fermi Dirac distribution at 0 Kelvin. Hence, expression the bulk modulus of the gas. So, the average energy of uh, at 0 Kelvin will be like that, where uh, EF0 is the Fermi energy at 0 Kelvin, which will be like that. So, the total energy is nothing but 3 by 5 N is the number of electron. So, the equation of proton is given by PV to that E. Put this value of E will be obtained this one, okay. So from here you will be get this relation pv to the power 5 by 3 equals to constant. Now we need to find out this value of bulk modulus. Okay. So bulk modulus you know minus P, uh, dv, P, d, dp by dv into v and this is the relation from here you will be get this value of p and taking this derivative and put this derivative value here you will be obtained this relation. So this is the bulk this is the bulk modulus of this system. Okay. So this is the bulk modulus of the system. So I think clear about this one. If there are is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me and this is my contact detail. You can connect with this telegram channel. And this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel. You will get different physics related videos of mathematics. Like this session. If you learn something for this session, share this video to your friends. Such that he or she also get benefit from this video. Subscribe this channel. If you need in this channel, those already subscribed. Thanks for subscribing press the bell icon to get notification of our videos so take care we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you